payment of money by the Palestinian Authority to terrorists who are convicted of terrorism uh, is a uh, absolute human rights outrage and a crime in and of itself. Uh, to to give money to people who slaughter innocent human beings, including children and women and uh, innocent people of all kinds, is uh, a direct contribution to t terrorism. It gives the terrorists the, the, the support that if they engage in these activities, they can uh, get a, a, basically a salary for life that could go to their families. And uh, this is the kind of thing you do for uh, people who are who are engaged in legitimate military activities, not uh, for terrorists. And uh, you have the, the blood of the, of the future terrorist victims on your hands if you're doing this. Uh, the fact that the Palestinian Authority does this, carries this out on a massive scale, is uh, yet another indication that the, that the Palestinian Authority is a prime supporter of terrorism and therefore not entitled to be a state. Uh, and it, this money should be cut off in any way that it could be. The United States, for example, should not give the Palestinian Authority any money and not just restrict the use of money because money is fungible. So if they get money for one purpose, they just don't use it uh, for that purpose and they, they, they move it over to paying terrorists for killing Americans because many of these t terrorists have killed Americans as well as uh, Israelis and other people and citizens of other countries. And if Ameri America, American government cares about the lives of its citizens, it will stop supporting a murder machine, which is what the Palestinian Authority has become. So Palestinian uh, Media Watch is doing a great service in documenting this on such a uh, large scale. And I congratulate them and uh, hope that they continue this activity until we cut this out.